IT expert, installing cabling and devices, the series introduction and approach. Good morning or good evening, depending on which part of the world you're in. Right now, it's a bright and sunny morning for me. My name is Jeremy Chara, and I'd love to welcome you to the first of a kind IT expert training series. This IT expert series represents so much of what we're about to do here at CBT Nuggets that I can barely contain my excitement. See, life consists of a whole bunch of choices, and you will constantly find yourself making decisions that consequently directs the entire path of your existence. Now, that may sound drastic, but here's what I mean. I teach for CBT Nuggets. I'm also the owner of a company that has about 20 employees that does a lot of the technology that CBT Nuggets teaches. I'm also married, and I have six kids, and right now they're all under 10 years old, and they're all homeschooled. As you can imagine, I am constantly presented with options on how I should be investing my time. My wife and I use a code of good, better, and best. Should we sign the girls up for a dance class? You know what? That would be really good. They would really enjoy that, and I bet they would have a lot of fun. But you know, if we do that, that's going to end up committing us to get these girls to practice three times a week and slicing large chunks of time out of our evenings for the performances and the recitals. And our family can't really participate in all of that together. And honestly, I'm not even sure if the girls like dance yet. What if we got them in something like piano that maybe could involve a teacher coming to our house so it doesn't disrupt everybody? And maybe we could try it for a month just to see if the girls like it first. I'm having conversations with my wife like that all the time because there's so many opportunities presented that we really have to screen what we choose to do to select the best thing. And so I come to the point of the opening nugget of this series. There are two traditional paths of education in today's world, at least as it relates to the IT profession. And for the 20 years that I've been doing training, I constantly get the question, what should you get, a college degree or a vendor certification? And it's a question I can never win because no matter what I say, I always offend a whole group of people. A college degree is good. It's the path chosen by most individuals as they graduate high school and move into the college system. It provides a great general education that is slanted towards a specialty. For instance, when I graduated high school, I went to college under a computer science degree. And I learned math and I learned language and I learned micro and macro economics. And I worked with a group on a Microsoft Excel project. And I also did some computer programming. But really, at the end of the day, all I was after was that degree. Because I believed if I got that degree, I could go to an employer, show them the degree, and they would say, oh, I recognize that's a degree from Harvard or Yale or Arizona State University or the University of Arizona or wherever that degree comes from. Based on the reputation of that college, I will give you a chance to work at my organization. And that is good. A degree can open doors for you. But then I stumbled into the world of certification. Originally, it was with Novell technology. How to spin up a netware server and manage your users and file shares. And it was amazing. Because for the first time, I had some focused education. I struggled a lot in college because I didn't see the relevance, at least in my world, to macroeconomics. Now that I'm a business owner, I would love to take a macroeconomics class all over again, but back then, it wasn't relevant to me. That's what certification brought, is relevance, and intensely so. Back then, before there was any online training, I attended week-long courses that taught me more directly applicable information than all four years of college combined. It was at that point that I realized that certification was the better path, at least for IT professionals, when getting an education. But certification had its weaknesses as well. First off, it validates you based on the relevance of the vendor. If I were to go out to the world right now and wave my Novell certification around, most employers would laugh at me. Some of them might not even recognize that Novell is a technology vendor, or was one anyway. Likewise, I started seeing some gaps in my knowledge. Since it was so focused on Novell, I found that there was weaknesses in areas not specifically addressed by Novell because there would be no motivation for Novell to add those areas to their certification. It doesn't help sell their products. And that led to us at CBT Nuggets getting together and thinking through what if we could add a third path, the best path, a path not held within the boundaries of one specific vendor, nor spanned across a spectrum of general studies that fills your mind with information that you may not use for decades later in your life or never use it at all. I mean, here's the fact. Your education is fleeting. Use it or lose it. As I mentioned, my wife and I homeschool our six kids, and we just crossed into the world of the Pythagorean theorem. 
And she looked at me and goes, what's the Pythagorean theorem? I remember in high school, my life being the Pythagorean theorem. And for the life of me, I couldn't recall what it even was. I never used it. Just like about 95% of the stuff that I learned when I went to college. I think we can all agree that work is more valuable than school. Meaning, when you leave school and get into the workplace, that's where the real learning begins. Because you gain a true practical confidence. It's beyond just studying a book and passing an exam. You really do it, and that's the stuff that stays with you. And so as we collaborated at CBT Nuggets, we thought, what if we could create a training that takes the intense relevance of certification, but breaks the vendor boundaries and delivers it in such a way that's ultra practical. Welcome to the CVT Nuggets mantra, watch, learn, and conquer, or in plain English, train, assess, and do. It should start somewhere with somebody to mentor you into knowledge because that just accelerates the process. I know if I put a pile of network equipment in a room with my six kids and had an infinite time frame for them to figure it out, they would eventually put it all together. It may take a few hundred years, but if I were to walk into the room and say, oh, okay, this is actually a switch and this allows all the computers to communicate and I mentored them into that, I would hugely accelerate the process. So this part is really my job. You could call it teaching, but I like to call it mentoring. I'm coming alongside you. I don't know everything, but I've been there. I've caused network outages. I've fallen through ceilings trying to run cable. So let me just talk you through a lot of those things to accelerate your learning and keep you from getting injured. Now, as you're going through that, we want to make sure that you are learning. So you'll see these questions popping up through the video. Most of the time, they're focused around some key point we just want to make sure is buried in your head so you can walk away knowing that you're learning the most valuable items and to keep you engaged so you don't go into TV watching mode. In my life, I've watched a lot of great movies. But if I were put on the spot to recall details from those movies, I would guess I've retained less than 1%. And the biggest final puzzle piece of it all is what we call conquer. This is where you actually apply the knowledge that you've been taught. And this is where that practical confidence is gained. Now, I'm sure you've been staring at these two bullets going, isn't that contradictory? I know you know it's not. Through this entire series, you're probably gonna notice one thing. I'm always smiling. And it's not because I'm trying to be an engaging presenter. It really is fun to do what I'm doing. The better you get at something, the more fun it becomes. Now I've got to combine it with this statement because it's not just about having a whole bunch of fun. That's like when you're a kid and you say, I want to test video games someday. If I could get a career where I could test video games, that would be awesome. Now you're pushing yourself beyond, beyond your comfort zone, beyond what you already know into something that's new. And there's some times I was actually watching some of the video that I shot for this series with my wife. And she goes, man, you look rough. And I said, what do you expect? It's four in the morning. I had to come in way outside of business hours to do a lot of the installations. So it didn't interfere with the day-to-day -day business of the organization. When that alarm goes off at three in the morning, that's not fun. That's hard. But as you push past that and accomplish amazing things, the work becomes fun. I think the biggest compliment I've ever received from a student was when he told me, Jeremy, I don't know what you did to me, but I know I can accomplish anything. And I said, oh, you mean in technology? And he goes, no, I mean anything. He said, I know I could figure out how to work on my car. I know I could figure out how to fix my air conditioner. I know I could install a network firewall. That is awesome. That's the great things. And that's what we believe at CBT Nuggets is the best possible way that you can learn. So with all that, let me give you some practical advice as you dive into this series. If you're brand new and just jumping in, move through the series in order. I took a project-based approach to the series where we were installing a network in a small office environment. It moves from assessing the building all the way through the completion of a fully functional network. If you're not new to this field, then I would encourage you to jump straight to the relevant topics. Maybe you've fished cable before, but you've never installed a wireless network or specced out an uninterruptible power supply. Now keep in mind, the key to IT expert is to keep everything relevant. You may see topics appear and disappear as their relevance to the industry comes and goes. Technology is always changing. Now every single one of the videos in this series has a practical assessment. This is the do. And that's where I'll encourage you to overcome fear, which is often recognized as resistance. I learned this about myself early on. When I would get thrown into a new technology, take voice over IP, I would always resist it. Ah, oh, I don't want to work with phone systems. That's dumb. I don't, I'm a network guy. I don't want to make phones ring. And what I found over time is that resistance 
was actually my fear playing out because I didn't know a thing about voice over IP systems when I got in. You'll recognize this all over the world. Oh, I love Windows computers. I hate Apple. Well, it's probably because you just don't know Apple. Oh, I love the iPhone. Man, I, I hate Android. Well, it's just because you haven't invested your time into learning the Android smartphone. So when you watch these videos, and at the very end of every single one, I say, okay, here's what I want you to do. There's a very good chance you're going to look at it and go, well, I don't, I don't want to do that. I, I saw Jeremy do that. I get it. That's enough. Well, can I tell you, in video land, five minutes equals five hours. There's times you'll actually be watching some of these videos where you'll see my outfit change two or three times. That's because days of time pass as I'm working through some of these tasks. Everything looks easy when you watch it. I'll go watch Chariots of Fire and think, man, it's pretty easy to run a marathon. But when I actually go to do it, I find out, you know, there's something to this. And so I'll end with this, fight discouragement. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Last thing worth mentioning is that this series, as well as all the IT expertise series that we have at CBT Nugget, is designed in a very real world format. You're learning from the combination of literally hundreds of years of IT experience when you combine the depth of the instructors at CBT Nuggets. This was not designed in terms of compliance standards. I'm thinking immediately to a, a moment in this series where I'm standing on a chair to try and fish a cable through the ceiling. I could see somebody busting down the door and screaming, OSHA violation! That's not safe! And you're right, it's not. I'm just glad when I was filming it wasn't a swiveling chair. In the IT Expertise series, we are not trying to promote any specific vendor. And you're going to see through this series, I bring up all kinds of different vendors' equipment. Cisco, Unify, TrendNet, Panduit. And isn't that the whole point of this? Welcome to the real world where there are good products made from other vendors than just one that the certification is based around, right? Now, if you see me continue to refer to a specific vendor, it's because that just happens to be what we're using. I'm not trying to promote that vendor, nor am I paid by that vendor or any other conspiracy theory that somebody can come up with. I just thought for that situation, that vendor worked pretty well. And finally, this isn't even designed as a best practice series. I know as some people watch the videos, they're going to say, well, I, I wouldn't do it that way. Or, oh, I read somewhere that you shouldn't do it that way. And that's great. I'm actually really excited about that. Take a picture of your other method and send it to me on Twitter. That's my Twitter name. I think you know where I'm coming from. Well, I am ultra excited for you to dive into this series. Keep in mind that CBT Nuggets wraps all kind of support around you. There are moderated forums where you can ask questions. There are accountability coaches that are kind of like personal trainers that will call you and make sure that you're on track with the learning goals that you set together. At CBT Nuggets, we are all about changing lives. And we feel we can do that best by introducing in a whole new way to educate the world. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.